What's going on guys, it's J-Ho bringing you a brand new video and today I'm going to show you guys my Trials of Osiris Awards from last week on all three of my characters. Last week's Trials map was Widow's Court, one of the original year one Trials maps and this map is always fun to play on. There's a lot of different play styles on this map just because of how big it is and I was enjoying uh, sniping a lot on this map because it does seem a lot more fun than shotgunning and it feels a lot more rewarding when you get some nice snipes in as well so this was actually the last weekend of trials from the old meta since the patch did come out finally with the December update so we'll see how this week's trials ends up panning out and uh, we'll see if the, any playstyles end up changing so I'm gonna get into my rewards from last week and let's jump straight into it so starting off on my first character on my hunter from the lighthouse chest we ended up getting a doctrine of passing auto rifle and a knucklehead radar as well and my doctrine of passing came in at 317 attack pretty good infusion fuel for anything that I want to level up or infuse higher so that was pretty good. For my trials bounties on my hunter we get the usual legendary marks passage coins and motes of light. For my silver tier, I got unlucky with no exotic there. And for gold tier, we end up getting a legendary artifact. So I end up getting a prismatic heart artifact. It looks pretty cool actually, but I do have to infuse it up if I want to use that one because it is a little bit lower in defense value. And then moving on to my warlock, I actually lost a clip of my lighthouse chest opening, but it did get sent to my postmaster. So I ended up getting from the lighthouse chest another... Doctrine of Passing Auto Rifle, but it came in at 319, so that was actually really good. Almost 320, but still a really decent drop. And then for my gold tier, I actually ended up getting a, a 307 chest piece, the Wing Sun Vestments. And I got unlucky again and got no exotics from my silver tier. So that's what I got on my Warlock. Finally, on my last character, on my Titan, from the Lighthouse Chest, we end up getting... A inward lamp and four motes of light and it came in at 312 so a little bit low a little bit unlucky on that one but still not a bad weapon at all moving on to my last set of bounties on my Titan we got the usual motes of light passage coins and legendary marks for the silver tier I got unlucky with no exotics once again and for the gold tier we got the tamarind which is the trials rocket launcher it looks pretty similar to the year one version of the trials rocket launcher and my perks on it weren't the greatest from that drop, but it looks like it has some decent base stats. So when this one drops on a certain week as that weapon for the week, maybe I'll try it out if I can get some good perks on it. But uh, overall, it wasn't the greatest in terms of uh, perks for Crucible. So that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace!